Okay, I have to admit it. Maggie, this place is looking awesome! We have got little plants up on the, like, shelves all over the place. We have got a snake plant over there. Maggie is being such a, a good girl, and she seems to be having a great time. We've got a little bit of food for her now. There you go, girl. Oh, you're such a good puppy. And then we have also got our new snake, you guys! How freaking cool is this? Oh no, I didn't- I wanted to pick up the snake. I didn't want to pick up her whole exhibit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool and not only that but thanks to some of your suggestions i actually learned that we can start decorating this place even better maggie we can start making it into a true home oh and by the way my friends i just wanted to say really quickly thank you yes i know we don't need to stay at this little dilapidated shack i could indeed go ahead and own some more real estate i could move maggie and our little snake who i can't remember what i have named our snake uh-oh uh-oh. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Can I actually see the name of our snake? Whoops. I feel really bad. That's my my snake. Can I can I see pets at home? I have Magnolia and Bluey. That's right. I did name our snake Bluey. <laughs> <laughs> the female adult egg eating snake which we did have a really cool in slate in the last video tell you guys all about uh which i very very much enjoyed uh but i know we could move ourselves to a new home but the thing is this is the shack it all began at this is where our dreams of like a community garden of being able to show off like what a small acreage could really do uh, for your sense of joy and for hope Hopefully being able to have a huge garden back here. Uh, I really want to show all of those things off, which means we have more work to do on this tiny little spot before we go ahead and we call it quits. Also, I wonder, can I get rid of this cord? Is there, like, I, I don't know, can I just use like wireless? Ugh, okay, that's kind of annoying, but that's all right. Uh, where I live in North Carolina, we actually don't have these power lines anymore because there's so many hurricanes. Hurricanes would knock those over and cause a lot of problems. So the lines are actually buried. And ever since I have gotten used to that after like, what, seven years of living in North Carolina, I am totally in love with that concept now because it's just visually so much prettier when you look down the street and all you see are like street lights and the trees. It's gorgeous. And speaking of things that are gorgeous, Maggie! I learned how to do a new trick! I'm really excited about this! Okay, so it turns out that we can actually go ahead and customize our home and make it into the perfect pixel biology sanctuary by adding in pictures, which I'm like really excited about. So we could actually put in a painting and I was testing that out by going ahead and getting this lovely piece of fan art created by one of our patrons, Orbit the Dragon, over in our Patreon Discord. And our patrons were the first ones to really kind of have eagle eyes on the fact that we were approaching 750,000 community members, which kind of blows my mind. <laughs> Do you guys realize that that's like thousands and thousands of people per like every wolf that is still in existence in the world? That is like, there's only like 20,000 giraffes, friends. So like there's literally thousands of us per giraffe that is left in the world. If all of us chipped in together, we could probably sponsor every giraffe that lived on the entire planet for the rest of their lives. <laughs> That blows my mind, and I love the vibrant, beautiful greenery, the nod at the lovely little hibiscus, the lily and taint. Oh, I really hope Minecraft will start working for me again. It has been breaking my heart not to be able to go on adventures with those two. Uh, but we can go ahead and do this. Ta-da! 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 Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I need to add in like some more lights and some shelves. Like actually, let's see, can I do like really nice lights that can go, maybe like a wall lamp that could really light that up. Uh, citrus, Cyrus wall lamp? All right, what do you look like? Eh, that kind of looks like that thing that all of the streamers have that I'm like, oh, I don't know about that, but it might make a really nice modern look to this. So give me just a second. I'm gonna look through our options. Our options are a little limited, not gonna lie. Kinda wanted to keep like the, the cozy theme of 
this place going though, so let's see, maybe I'll go with, let's try this out. Let's just see what we think. All right, you know what? It's greenery, so I love it. And, oh, there we go. Hey, okay, I actually really like that. That's very cozy. All right, Maggie, so here we are. We now have more decorations and I totally want to start like decorating fan art all over the place because that will be so much fun. Uh, and I also want to like, Make the interior look nicer, which means, Maggie, that you and I and many of the other animals that we are going to adopt, because I want to see how many of them I can bring all at once, I am hoping I can have like an entire pack of animals come with me to some of these jobs, but we're going to get to work on some of these jobs so we can learn some new skills and try to like develop uh, a whole bunch of the new things that are currently locked that I want to do in House Flipper. But first, let's go ahead, Maggie, and we have a job to finish. All right. Whoops, I didn't mean to go to Morgan's Pet Care. So let's pop over, and we are almost done helping out with the caretaker. What? Cats have three blood groups, dogs 13, and humans four. Wow, dogs have 13 blood groups? I've heard before that actually getting your dog to donate blood is really important for some vets, but I mean, I don't know how, oh, Maggie, you're so cute. You're my good girl. Oh my gosh. I love how she has a little hat. Oh, Maggie, here, I'm going to pick you up because we have one last room to go ahead and actually go to, and it's actually upstairs. So, oh, my little poppers. She is so cute. She's so cute. All right, we're going to come inside. And we are going to yeet the expensive televisions and pool tables, because who needs those, Maggie, my dear? When instead, change of stairs. Now you can change the stairs and houses. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes. All right. So Maggie, who needs all this expensive looking furniture when we can have puppies instead? All right, let's do this. We're just going to have like a gigantic yard cell. We're going to get rid of all of this. I mean, a pool table looks cool, you guys, but my grandpa got gifted a pool table when I was young, uh, and it was such a pain. It was such a horrible, horrible pain <laughs> because it, like his, his friends were moving to Venezuela and they didn't want to take their pool table. Boy, howdy, now I understand why they didn't want to take their pool table. It just sat in what was supposed to be our living room and took up all of the space for literally years. You couldn't even play properly because there wasn't enough room, which is kind of hilarious. All right, well, that part is done. what do you think about that, Maggie? Ugh, I wish I could completely paint this place. It's just way too dark in here, but we're gonna do our best. So let's go ahead. We're gonna get a bunny enclosure. Let's make it bright and beautiful and just fun, like playful colors. Do a little green bowl, maybe a beige bowl. No, green bowl, no boring colors. Uh, and then we'll do maybe, ooh, the cedar's really pretty. Cedar and the American Elm. So apparently a bunny is going up here. I just have a lot of questions about why people keep putting their rabbits up, up in the attic, but we'll just kind of leave that there. And a guinea pig enclosure. Oh my gosh, I love, oh, could I really see a guinea pig go up that adorable little oh, spot? Oh my gosh, guys, we need to adopt a guinea pig. I desperately, you don't understand how much I love guinea pigs. Whenever I'm having a hard day, Chips will actually turn on like guinea pig videos for me and we'll just lay there and like watch guinea pigs. And I get so excited. If we didn't plan on traveling so often, then I would absolutely get a guinea pig. And her name would be Gwynny Pig, AKA Gwendolyn. And she would be the most precious beloved guinea pig ever. All right, I'm gonna scooch this over a little because we've got a little bit of room. There we go. There we go. Okay. A turtle terrarium, like there's gonna be a lot of stuff up here. Oh my gosh. I hope the, the, you know, the, the floor is strong enough to support that. <laughs> okay, so let's see, let's do inside the frame. No boring colors. Oh, there's gonna be so many cool animals in here. I'm so jelly. All right, now we need a hamster terrarium, which is gonna be delightful. 
So let's see, let's go with that one. Oh, that makes me think about the little Pikachu that we have in our Sims 4 Snowy Sled Dog series. If you guys haven't seen that, we have like the cutest Pikachu hamster in our Sims 4 Snowy Sled Dog series. And we have a lot of little uh, rescue puppies that we have there as well, living a good life. I have to say this is one of the best hamster enclosures I've ever seen. One of the most important things to realize about hamsters are they are indeed burrowing animals and they really love having these little spots that they can burrow down into. So you don't really wanna give them those tube enclosures, those are just kind of like a commercial gimmick. The best thing you can do is give them these really deep, deep places they can make their own burrows in and a lot of places to run and chew. Oh, this is so beautiful. I am so excited. Isn't it cute, Maggie? This is so cool. We're going to have to like bring some of these home somehow. I'm going to need to like learn how to make bigger, <laughs> learn how to make bigger, um, bigger walls because I don't have enough space at the moment for this amazing thing. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. All right, so let's go ahead and now we need some wicker ceiling lamps. I wanna say no boring colors, but it's also really dark in here. So we're gonna go with white and we need six of them. One, two, those on oh this is so much better already oh my gosh <laughs> oh all right and then uh, let's see grab some of that cedar i kind of like the idea that we can have like a storage spot back here but maybe also a chair or some other bits and pieces too and then a poof with a blanket three of them oh these are pretty cute yeah, look, and then you can come up here and you can just like chill with your bunnies and you can chill with all your friends while you hang out with all the animals. This is actually adorable. Oh my gosh. Isn't this better than some boring pool table? You get to bring in all your little rescue pets and you just get to hang out up here with walls that clearly need repainted. <laughs> and then we've got a little carpet right over here. Oh, this is really cute, you guys. Maggie, what do you think? There's so much more we can do with this, though. I'm not just going to, like, leave this. I, I mean, I don't know how much more budget I've got to work with. Probably not a lot. But I'm not just going to leave it like this. Come on. We can spice it up just a little bit. I feel like we need some of the, like, teethers and toys. Oh, absolutely. Can I go inside here? Can I be one with the bunny zone? Ah. I can! Oh my gosh, let me have carrots. Give me carrots! I want carrots. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Carrots the plant. I fall for that every time I'm like, yeah, I want fresh carrots. It's like freaking wall. No, I don't want you. Okay. I want I want the carrot not to be in the ground. I want it to be like a carrot I can put down as decoration please ah oh. so the carrot unfortunately will count as something that will go into let's do small pets into the ground so i can't have as much fun as i wish i could uh ooh, and there's so many cute little hay feeders ah that's so adorable and you can just come in and and use a few more decorative pieces i don't need money from this job let's fill it with food Oh my gosh! Why can't we have that bowl as decoration? Heck, if I can fill all of these things with like water and food, I'm going for it. Come on, we've got to feed all the rescue animals. Oh, that's so cute! I wish I could have four of those. Okay, <laughs> Maggie, you are not a bunny, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. Uh, let's see, what else can I put down for these little ones? There's a little bunny bed! Oh, it's so cute. Fluffy pattern bunny bed. Um, wow, so you can really, you can really have like a good time. Just some monstera leaves with a little bunny bed. That I'm just gonna like put the bunny bed out here. Because I think it's cute. 
Okay, maybe that's kind of in the way. It's it's sort of more of like a decorative object, this bunny bed, I'll be honest. Uh, and then let's close that. I kind of want to put some more like supplies for the food. Maybe I'll just keep decorating until we run out of money. Oh, a little light whole bunny bed, freaking cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You could even, like, have a little spot where the bunny could hide in in this. Alright, we're gonna actually slip this kind of back here. So if the bunny wants to, like, run out and play among all of the plants that could probably kill it, but, you know, we cough cough say that these are gonna be safe for the bunny. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of how many of you guys were like, yeah, that wouldn't be safe for the bunny. That wouldn't be safe for the bunny with all of the plants I was adding in last time because most house plants are indeed toxic to rabbits. Do be aware you cannot just leave like the same for guinea pigs too. You can't just leave whatever plants fit your fancy down when you have pets and cats. I mean, like there's a lot of plants that are very deadly for all of our, our animal friends. And they don't know any better, so you kind of have to be the one to make sure that you're very careful with what you're adding into the home. Uh, which is another, uh, another thing to really think about. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. It's so tiny! Can I put it on top of the, the roof? I cannot. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, a shelf full of tiny little plants! Look, if they hired me, they're gonna need to get used to this adding in a bunch of little plants everywhere I possibly can. Is that dirt? I can't touch that dirt. I wish it could. All right, so we're gonna put down like a couple of these plants because come on. I like the idea that maybe they're growing some sort of fresh herbs. Here we go. Oh, I know, let's sponsor this place. Of course, you guys. So I don't think I can make a very big painting because we don't have a lot of money, but there we go. We can go ahead and say that we're sponsoring. <laughs> we're sponsoring the pet place. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I really love that. Okay. And then let's see. I need to get more of our art so it doesn't just seem like a vanity metric, but it actually <laughs> looks like we're trying to sponsor this place. I want the big old giant plants, please. That's oregano. It's going to be very tiny. This guy. All right. Maybe. There we go. See? It's just better. It's just better with the greenery. I, I live by those words. I will die by those words. There we go. And what I wanted to do, yeah, was like get into this corner with some plants. But it doesn't seem like I can because of the bunny bed, unfortunately. My by slate plans have been uh, thwarted, just saying. Hmm. Hmm. Put that one there. And then maybe a last one there. All right. So that's actually really fun. Did not expect to enjoy myself that much. Let's continue to find ways really quickly that we can try to improve this rescue center. And then I think we're going to roll a dice and randomize and see who we actually are able to go ahead and rescue next. Oh, yes, that's what I wanted. The beautiful Shklefera. Mine, unfortunately, died. It got those horrible, horrible mites. And even though I had had it since before I met Chips, it did pass on from this world. Rip my Shklofera, aka my umbrella plant, uh, but you will live on in memory. Okay, so there's that. We still have $900. Decorations. I mean, this decorative pot. Okay, that's, oh, it's a little decorative pot for plants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me put a plant in there. Holy cow, of course they will. So I didn't realize that there were like vases I could put plants in. <gasps> Wait, can I add in the carrots? Can I put like real plants in there? Will you let me put real plants in there? Please? Ah, oh. okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to put in the decorative pot. Maybe we could just say that's bedding. All right, and let's just find some like fun decorations. So, oh, there's a lot of like animal related things. Ah, oh, there's little, little straw hats. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's too cute. It doesn't really match with the brick, but whatever. We're, we're working with the fact they won't let me repaint it. <gasps> what? There's a ceiling swing? 
Can you imagine swinging with the bunnies and the guinea pigs? Oh my gosh. This is turning into a paradise. What even? I had no idea you could do something that ridiculous. That is so cool. There's all of these cool pillars. There's a little dog statue. Bella Rose. Okay, yeah, wow. <gasps> Barry the hamster! There's a little hamster statue! Of course we're gonna have to hide this little dude down here next to the hamster guinea pig. Or it's a guinea pig setup, not a hamster setup. Uh, the hamster setup's over here. But still, I think he, he's best suited hiding back there. Wow. Every time, I'm like, I had no idea I was gonna get involved in laughing so hard and exploring so much. There we go. Still have $700 left that we could donate to the cause. There's mirrors that we could put in. That actually sounds like it might be kind of fun. Maybe open up the room a little bit, let people see themselves swinging. Um, I need to see if I can make the mirrors actually be reflective. And then, oh, we've got pictures of cats. Oh my gosh. Tabby cat. Okay, that might look a little bit threatening to the small animals we have in here. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's see. But I think we're on the right, like... Oh, come on. A cute picture of a salad. That's a little big. <laughs> I ex repeat my phrase, a cute picture of a salad. I wish we had like more bunnies. Oh, if you guys had like pictures of your bunnies that we could, oh, the meadow, yes. Oh my gosh. Like, there you go, nice meadow. Can I put down a couple of those to kind of make a little bit of a montage? Almost, and no! <laughs> I literally had it right, okay. Our budget will run out soon. That's okay, look at that for the bunnies. Oh my gosh, and you can go ahead and you can just sit on this swing. What do you mean I can't do that now? I should be able to do that now. All right, look, this is so cute. Now we need to see if I actually can like find food um for everybody hmm organic canned food and then we'll stick some of these gotta crouch down so i can see i'm really happy with this i love the idea that we're just like donating all of the money back because we're not going to take it from him because we have a ton of money already back at home because i did do a lot of I didn't do much like I just liked running around and cleaning up everybody's houses but I did indeed do a little bit of work before you guys started joining me once more all right any other decorations standing decorations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe I'm looking at the wrong kind of stuff for accessories that's what I should have been looking for all right so there's a bunch of folded towels. I feel like you might need those just for miscellaneous like things and cleaning up in here. That actually seems fairly important. You just always need cleaning supplies, <laughs> especially when you're working with like a bunch of animals. Um, I'm gonna put in some of the shampoo, even though like we're just gonna kind of, okay, that's too tall. But we're gonna acknowledge, yes, it says dog shampoo, but maybe you need it for other things. Oh, it's probably really important to have like a few binders that maybe have a bunch of information about the animals. Can I change the direction? Nope. I want some of these to lie flat. Little desserts, little wooden box. I love how Maggie's just following us around. I can hear her over there. I'm like, what's you doing, mom? Let's see, all oh, the books, yes. Okay, so we need a few piles of books that will hopefully help the people who come relax as well as maybe learn a little bit more about the animals and then we have two hundred dollars left we're doing really good you guys so much to decorate <gasps> little duckies okay come on that's way too cute got to put down some duckies i'll put some duckies right over here 
because maybe they are toys for the turtles. Oh, I love it. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, oh, and you know what? Just some of these like plates and bowls is probably a good idea too. Can I get any more? Okay. Yeah, because these would be like maybe food dishes for the animals. This is really addictive. I'm really into it now. There's just so much that we could we could decorate with. Just a little round box. Oh, come on. That's like clearly something you would use before taking care of all the animals. All right. Anything else real quick, Maggie? Because it is time to go, my dear. Let's see. A little teacup. <laughs> I can't help it. It's so cute. Okay. You're going up here too. I don't know how I'm going to use you in here, but you're going up there. All right. What the heck? We took some chances at just being a little bit more wild this time. And I have to say, Maggie, my dear, like what? This place looks awesome. I wish this was our house. Maybe we can make this our house. We need to like set our dreams big, Maggie, my dear. Cause this, this, this could be us. This could be us. Can I take a picture of Maggie? Ah, oh, I wanted to take a picture with Maggie. But all right, guys, there we go. I am very proud of what we have accomplished in here and so excited about being able to go ahead and just see where all of our adventures are going to be taking us from here. So if you guys could, do please leave a like and let me know who do you think we should actually go ahead and we should actually try to adopt because this is all so freaking precious and I would love to be able to have one of these small animals at our home, but we probably need to make our home bigger. Oh, the drama. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave that like uh, and oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I want to complete the job. Complete the job? Complete? I can't do that now? Huh? Yes? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to figure out what's going on, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!